Hi folks, I'm Kevin Smith, one of the pastors here at Hope Lutheran Church. Glad to be with you again, especially during this Advent Christmas season that we celebrate. Christ gives us wonderful gifts at Christmas, and, and three of the main gifts that he gives us, of course, is the gift of uh, forgiveness, and then he gives us hope for the future, but also he gives us the gift for power for the present, power for the present. Expect to find power for the present, for the everyday life that we live. He gives us the strength to do that and to live boldly and confidently in his name. At times, life can really wear us down, as we know this last few months. But the good news we celebrate this Christmas season is that this same Jesus Christ, who was born 2,000 years ago, can still give you the strength and the power to manage your present day life with distinction, with honor, and with purpose and meaning. Paul writes these words in Colossians 1, verse 11. We also pray that you will be strengthened with his glorious power so that you will have all the patience and endurance you need. That is a wonderful promise, power for the present in which to live, which can add such depth and such glory to our present day living. I think of this example years ago, back during the Vietnam War era. There was a wonderful young man by the name of Jack Thomas. He was uh, an incredible singer, he had a wonderful baritone voice, but he was also a jet fighter pilot. As he was flying his last mission over the jungles of Vietnam, he was shot down and he became a prisoner of war, a POW, at the infamous Hanoi Hilton a prisoner, a prison uh, notorious for its mistreatment of American soldiers, such as John McCain years ago. And of course, as a pilot, he was a trophy prisoner. And so the guards kept their eyes on him. And any violation of the rules was met with severe and swift punishment. Well, one Christmas Eve, Jack Thomas broke the rules. He somehow could not ignore the yearning deep inside him to let loose with a song, to praise the God he knew was there with him, even in prison. So everyone in the prison was startled to hear the voice of this gorgeous baritone voice break the silence of Christmas Eve at the Hanoi Hilton by singing Silent Night, Holy Night, All is Calm, all is bright. The guards were so astonished that they didn't get moving very quickly. And Jack Thomas had finished the entire song by the time the guards found where his cell was. When they got there, they began to beat him and they beat him and they beat him. He was afraid for a while that he might die during the beating. Well, it took him months to get well. Months passed. And finally, it was time for Christmas again. And so the question that was going around by all the prisoners at the Hanoi Hilton was this. Will Jack sing again on Christmas Eve? Someone asked him if he would. And Jack replied that he wasn't sure because his body still remembered the cost he had paid for the last time he sang that song. He wasn't sure if he could survive another beating like that. Christmas Eve came, and once again, Jack Thomas stood up in his cell, and once again, he looked up, and he saw the twinkling of stars fill his view, and he felt the love of Jesus fill his heart. He threw back his head, and once again, that baritone voice pierced the darkness of the Noah Hilton. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Only that night, an amazing thing happened. There was a voice from another cell that began to sing. And then another voice joined in the singing. And another began to sing. And pretty soon, Jack Thomas was once again singing in a choir. The guards didn't know which way to run because there were too many singers to punish. Finally, the guards just threw up their hands 
And beginning that night, they no longer enforced the ban on singing at the Hanoi Hilton. Corrie Ten Boom puts it so well when she writes, let God's promises shine on your problems. Let his power and strength give you all that you need for the living these days, one day at a time, trusting in his mercy. The gift of Jesus Christ, power for the present, to live boldly and confidently, knowing that Jesus Christ is going to walk with you every step of the way, no matter what you are facing right now at this very hour. Let God's promises shine on your promises. Let God's promises shine on your problems. God bless. Thanks so much. And enjoy a wonderful Christmas season and a blessed Merry Christmas down the road in a few days. And remember, God loves you. And there's not a darn thing you can do about it. Amen.